My name is Janelle Joseph and I'm an assistant professor in the Faculty of Kinesiology and Physical Education and my work crosses a few different fields but it sits at the intersection of race, education, and uh, sport or physical culture. So I'm really interested in the body and learning and um, multiculturalism and the ways that we um, interact across cultures and learn from each other, but um, also you know, resistance practices and activism within those spaces as well. So, so much of my schooling and you know my desire to be a professor was because I didn't see myself represented either directly as faculty I never had a black female professor in all of my undergrad or graduate career but also in intellectually and through the curriculum I didn't see the practices that I was participating in for example Brazilian capoeira or you know my dad is from the West Indies and he played cricket and you know these kinds of physical cultures were never taught and we never really discussed them within the kinesiology field and even more than that I felt that you know we're asked to sit and read and type <laughs> and listen and uh, I always felt out of place doing that I always felt like this is not learning or this is not serving me and but it's such a radical idea to 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 stand up in a classroom even or to you know ask your professor to to move and so uh, I realized that I had to do those things myself uh, started as an assistant professor in 2019 and my first assignment was a fourth year mandatory class uh, on ethics and kinesiology and I was so excited by the prospect because you know ethics is so broad and I was really excited to bring in some of my critical race theory and um, you know push students in maybe different ways than they had with previous professors and um, I arrived at the classroom and it was a 250 seat theater and I was up on a stage and there was a white a big screen for a PowerPoint and um, because my skin is dark the students couldn't see me, literally <laughs> could not see me. And so, you know, just all of the politics of that, like that, you know, I was, I would have loved to be in a gym. Like, can we think about ethics by doing some push-ups and <laughs> extending the concept with our bodies? Uh, and, you know, we were just so restricted to, to the extreme that, you know, the students were forced to sit in this lecture theater, shoulder to shoulder, and they literally could not see my face. I, I, I made this joke that like, it's just my teeth. Like all you have to do is look for my teeth because it was just, the rest of me was hidden. And it's a really symbolic for me of how we expect students to learn and how we expect professors to teach and who we expect the professors to be even because there were stairs up to that stage. And so if I had any mobility issues, I couldn't even have gotten onto the stage to teach this class. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely that and, and it wasn't it wasn't serving me and I don't think that it was serving the majority of the students either.